you have the greatest Halloween costume ever worn by an employee. <laughs> my crusty the clown. <laughs> so for, for the for the listeners that have heard the show before, we've all heard about over the course of the fifteen episodes we've done about Ed having a functional working life as a crackhead, <laughs> as a severe severe addict working at a very high-end job around important people and take it from there what did you do the night before so i'm an assistant editor at um this is the snl job the, yeah, yeah, the story yeah, yeah. you've told on the show what, yeah yeah yeah. the okay. snl job yeah yeah so i'm there it's my first i've been there maybe nine months and i'm like i'm going big i'm gonna do the crusty but then i'm like man i don't want to shave my head so i go and i buy, buy like this bald cap and i'm gonna like just make holes in it and do the crusty, the three point hair, you know, he's right. You know how hard that is to do, even when you're not an addict. Like, that's like serious makeup effects. Oh. To, to cut the ball cap properly to yeah, get the hair no, right? I had no idea. Because it's huge hair coming out. I had long hair. I had crazy long hair, too. So the night before, I'm all fucked up. I'm still like, I'm, I got like an eight ball and I'm just drinking tequila in my apartment by myself. And I'm like, I'm doing a thing and I snapped the bald cap and I was like, fuck it. Let's just do it. And I just shaved my head in the crusty so thing and you, then dye it blue. So you were this. so against shaving your head, you bought a bald cap. And then the minute you had an eight ball in your system and some tequila, and you fucked the bald cap up, Once you're I like, the I gotta cap, commit. I was committed, I was doing the costume. So you had to shave. It was happening, yeah. So then I was like, you know what? Do it for fucking, do it for real anyway, you know what I mean? I was pussying out, so. <laughs> So then, and then the crazy thing is, I don't know Dude, how to. For real, anyway. I never dyed my hair before, so I had bought like blue, uh, hairspray oh. paint kind of thing. So now my whole head. <laughs> I didn't think to do it before I shaved the head, so now my whole bald head is also blue. Um, then I paint up, I go into work, and I just smell like tequila when I get off the elevator, and everybody, and I'm like, and oh, I'm you're like, tuned up, I'm you're like, doing the showtime. voice, right? I go showtime, dude. As soon as I get out, I go, hey, hey, hey. It's, it's 9 a.m. on like a Tuesday, right? And everybody's like, you know, in their like, you know, like, when what, it's bow, bunny like a, ears, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody's got like, like a little office leopard. Office appropriate. Yeah, office appropriate. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. I come running in, people are having a coffee, I'm like, oh, boy, Ooh, it's a rough night. Everybody's like, holy shit, I did not break character the whole day. Like, it's a work day. Yeah, dude. People and are trying I'm to get just, shit done. I'm just like the character all day. At one point, the- uh, Don't one, they throw you in a room The or producer something? comes up to me and she goes, hey, um, just hang out in here. Take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> so like a dog that's yeah. getting too crazy, they throw you in a, a room. Exactly. Yeah, it was like a dog, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's too just excited. Too much. Yeah, yeah. The funny thing was before, she was like, yeah, just lay down, but hold on a second. And she snaps this picture. <laughs> I love this picture. Oh, it's so good. It's so perfect. So I, now that whole day goes on. Uh, I lose the competition. <laughs> I did not win. I did not win the competition. You think it's because they didn't get to see you enough? You were, they put I you got in the room one, for too no, long. No, I got one vote, uh, and everybody goes, and he goes, I, I vote for Ed. Everybody went, really? And he goes, he shaved his head. <laughs> I love how you didn't even win and you shaved your whole head. Uh, and then, so then. So then you had to live with that shaved head. So then I go out that night. In the same outfit. I just go out. Straight from work. My buddy was in town to see Widespread Panic. You ever hear that band, Widespread yeah, Panic? Yeah, actually. So they're at Madison Square Garden. And I show up and I'm dressed like Krusty. Now, the crazy thing is, is like when you have a clown outfit on and you have the red nose, yeah. everybody knows. Yeah. You take that red nose off and you just have a shaved head and a white face. Oh, you look, you look like a psychopath, oh, yeah. dude. Just a That's a better lunatic. costume, actually. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm rolling around like that, just all fucked up. Why'd you take the nose off? Why didn't, like, you couldn't commit to the nose the whole night? Yeah, oh, the coke? Yeah, doing coke. Yeah. You should have stored your coke in that nose. <laughs> I didn't even. I wasn't. Instead you know of what? a beer helmet, you got a clown a coke nose. I'm just. I'm just putting it on. <sighs> just an eight ball in there that you're sniffing throughout the course of the night. So I'm in this concert and I'm doing my fucking crusty shtick, <laughs> just walking around, just doing it. I, I remember I had a full audience at one point. And I was just like, oh, hey, hey, and I'm just doing the fucking. You're at the, you played the garden. <laughs> yeah, I played the. I played the concession stand at the garden, but uh, yeah. Loge thirty four concessions. <laughs> I killed. At Loge 34. Concession. Killed and then passed out uh, in the seats. And, you know, like. You so, fall asleep in more concerts. I fall, I fall asleep in a lot of concerts. Than I've been to. And it was so crazy. I woke up. 
I didn't know who was playing because they were playing cover songs and they were playing a Ramones. They did like, because they were in yeah. New York, they did like a Ramones like thing. And I woke up and I was like, fucking hey, the Ramones are, the Ramones are here. Because I don't know shit about the widespread panic. I'm just there because my buddy's in town. <laughs> and you woke up and forgot yeah. entirely the reasons for even being at the garden. Just I'm you like, and the owner, uh, James Doyle, whatever the fuck that guy's name is. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jimmy Doyle's like, hey, yeah, let's Jimmy go. Doyle. <laughs> hey, Krusty, man, we loved you. I heard about you from Concessions Loge. The word got around to me here in the owner's box. So we brought you here for you to sleep it off. You just keep ending up in different rooms where higher-ups are going, let this guy sleep in this room. 